There's a new landing location for Marquette General's Air Ambulance Service. Tonight, hospital CEO Ed Bannis presented their plans in a public forum. TV6's Jennifer Perez was there and joins us now with more on the story. That's right, Greg. Several residents and community members attended this forum. Most wanted to know how safe it'll be to have a chopper land by the hospital and what has to be done to keep it secure. A portion of MGH's Nelberg parking lot closest to the corner of Hebert Court and College Avenue is now the proposed landing spot for their air ambulance. Word of the new spot drew curious residents at tonight's public forum. We were concerned about the initial site, um, being that it was right in amongst a number of residents and so forth. This is a little more open. Uh, it gives the opportunity for uh, the helicopter to come in without really disturbing a lot of uh, neighbors. The main concern, safety. According to CEO Ed Bannis, the landing area will be secured with a chain link fence. That will be 75 feet by 75 feet in area. Bannis says some trees will be removed, some light poles will be taken out, others lowered. And lighting will be added to light up the chopper's flight path. He says it's safe and won't interfere with any vehicular or pedestrian traffic. To me, it looks very good. It looks like this is something that is very workable uh, from the university's pr perspective. And I don't believe that this will be disruptive for us uh, at all. While there will be some noise, Bannis says it's minimal and limited to a short amount of time. He says once the chopper lands, a security guard and ambulance will be waiting to transport the patient to the emergency center. That should take probably less than 40 seconds. So that's not a significant amount of time in doing that, but we know that that area is going to be secure and the helicopter can land there right away. And we know that that's going to be a, a, a great way of getting our patients in for care. They started the service back in June, landing temporarily at the Barry Events Center. Since then, they've had eight patients. They're working to get the plans approved by the City Commission, the City Planning Commission, and are hoping to start landing by the hospital in the fall. Of course, it's all temporary, too, because they want to have the new hospital built by 2017. That's so. exactly right. All right. Thanks, Jennifer.